I'm very interested in the care that we give patients, not just the chemotherapy, but how do we support those patients once they finish chemotherapy. And one thing we've noticed is, is that there is a, a very high incidence, probably about 60% incidence of depression or anxiety as perceived by the patients um, once they complete treatment. And it seems that patients are relatively well immediately after they finish, but they can then uh, be beset really with depression and anxiety. And mainly it's around fear of relapse. And it seems that if patients have a past history or pre-existing level of depression and anxiety before they start treatment, they're most at risk of developing problems later. So our study, which is called Offsite 2, really aims to assess the well-being of patients. And if they do score with using a, a, a basic uh, psychiatric depression questionnaire, if they do score uh, evidence of having mild to moderate depression, that we randomise them and they receive supportive care immediately after they finish treatment. And we're looking to see whether those randomised to receive that, as opposed to those who have to voluntarily go out and ask for it, those randomised to receive it, whether they have any sort of long-term benefits in terms of their psychological morbidity, but also in terms of their general well-being. So our feeling is that it's our responsibility as doctors to actually go out and ask patients how they're feeling and offer them psychological support rather than expecting the patients to drive that. It's very important for patients to recognise that there are these support services in place at every hospital and that they really need to ask their doctors to arrange psychological support. They don't have to be feeling extremely depressed to warrant receiving it. It's just very helpful to have it early on in their treatment and to have that level of support you know, combined with their chemotherapy or immediately after they finish the treatment. So the message to patients is ask for it, it's out there. Usually there's quite a, a good supportive network of specialist nurses they can approach as well as their doctors. They can even talk to the sort of junior doctors. They can talk to their GPs and again they all have access to the same sort of supportive services inside the hospital and also in the community as well. Mm -hmm.